Greetings, grandchildren. Today we're going to read and find out why this is One Smart Goose. One Smart Goose by Carolyn Jane Church. Down on the farm lived a gaggle of geese. They were shiny and clean. Even their beaks gleamed. All the geese, that is, except one. One little goose splashed alone in a muddy pond. He wasn't shiny or clean, and his beak certainly did not gleam. The other geese laughed at him. Look at that dirty goose, they honked. Most of the time, all the geese led a very happy life, but when the full moon shone, they would tremble with fear. A full moon meant only one thing. The fox would come, and whoosh, down the hill he'd chase all the geese, through the woods and all around the farm. The fox chased all the geese, that is, except one. He never chased the lonely little goose. One morning after a very bad chase, the geese had just had enough. It was time for a talk. Why doesn't the fox ever chase you, they demanded. Have you got a secret you're not telling us? No, said the dirty little goose. It's because of my muddy feathers. They blend into the shadow so the fox can't see me, not even by the light of a full moon. All the geese looked at each other and ran to the nearest muddy pond. Time went by and all the happy muddy geese pecked away on the hillside. All that is, except one. The lonely little goose watched the sky. It was heavy and gray. He shivered. It could mean only one thing. He called to the others and tried to explain, but they wouldn't listen. So, he set off alone once more, this time to find a clean, clear pond. There, he washed and scrubbed, scrubbed and washed, until all his feathers were clean and gleaming. That night, the moon rose full and round, and whoosh, the fox chased all the geese once again. All the geese, that is, except one. The fox didn't see the lonely little goose. And he didn't see his foot, either. Bam! With a bump and a thump, he fell into the snow and rolled down the hill. The fox rolled faster and faster. Further and further, far, far away, out of sight. He's gone, cried the geese. I don't think he'll be back either, smiled the smart little goose. Oh, thank you, said the geese. And for the first time, the little goose felt like part of the gaggle and was never lonely again. Why was that lonely little goose so smart? Think about the clues in the story that let you know that he was a good thinker. He was very smart. Hope you enjoyed One Smart Goose. Bye-bye.